بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على نبي محمد بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على نبي محمد ومن تبعه بإحسان يوم الدين الحمد لله in this video inshallah we're going to be speaking about علامات الأعراب من جمع المؤنث السانة the signs of الأعراب for the sound feminine plural but before that we need to speak a bit about the difference between the معرب and the مبني and the different signs of Arab and so on and so forth. So a few things we need to speak about before to build up so we can finally start talking about the actual point of this video. So first we need to understand is that a kinyman or a word in the Arabic language can either be mebni or mu'rab. Mebni means a word whose ending cannot change. Right? Hadha never changes. Never comes hadha who or hadha he or something like that. It's always hadha, hadha, hadha. Hadha fi hadha. A word whose mu'rab is a word whose ending can change. Baytun becomes Baytin. Why? Because the Haraj Arafi, that makes it Majururun. So Baytun is a word that's Ma'arab, it can accept Arab, i.e. its ending can change. Because the Arab is a changing that's happening at the end of the word. That it goes from Rafa' Baytun to Nasr, Baytin to Jar, bay, uh, to, to Nasr, Baytan to Jar, Baytin. So a word whose Mebani now, it can be stuck on four different things. A word that's Mebani, that's stuck, it can never change. It can either be stuck on a Feth, like Zahaba. Or it can be stuck on a sukun like hadha, or it can be stuck on a dhamma like mundhu, or it can be stuck on a kasr like hadhi. So what does maybe it can be stuck on any of these things, but it's stuck on it, it will never change. Hadhi is always going to say hadhi, hadha is always going to say hadha, dhahaba is always going to say dhahaba in the past tense, of course. Without taking consideration, you're, you're adding different um, pronouns to it. So this is uh, what a word can be mebni on. Now, a word that's mu'arab, a word that can accept a'rab, it can be Mu'arab with the original signs, and it can also be Mu'arab with the secondary signs, or it can be Mu'arab with a bit of both. So, Alamat and Arab. Alamat is the plural of Alam, which means sign. So, Alamat signs. Al Arab of Al Arab. So, there are two possible signs to show the Al Arab of a word. There are two possible ways I can show the Al Arab of the word. Al Arab is any whether it's Marfu or Mansub or Majrurun, the ending that's going on at the end of it. Either of the original signs, which we've been covering so far, the Dhamma for Rafa, the Fatha for Nasab, the Kasra for Jar, Muhammadun, Muhammadan, Muhammadin, and the, the Sukun for the Jazm, Lam Yadhab. That's very clear. Now we also have an Alamat and Fara'iyah. We have the secondary signs, which is that certain words, they'll not take the original signs like the Dhamma to show that it's Rafa. And it's not going to take the Fatha so that it's Nasab. And it's not, show, it's not going to take the Kasra so that it's Majrurun. But rather, it's going to take one of the secondary signs, like the Alif, or the Ya, or the Kasra, or the Fatha, or the Hath, or the Noon, or the Wow. And we're going to be covering this in details in this video and in the upcoming videos. Okay? So to recap everything we just said, words are of two types, either Mu'rab or Mabni. Mabni is very clear. It's stuck. never changes. Vahaba, Hatha, Mundu, Hadi. And it can be stuck on a Fatha, or a Sukun, or a Dham, or a Kas. Now, a word can also be Mu'rab. Mu'ra means that its ending can change. I can accept A'ra, Muhammadun, Muhammadan, Muhammadin. Now, when that's Mu'ra, it can either be Mu'ra with the original signs, Al-Alamat al-Asliyya, the original signs, like the Dhamma, the Fatha, the Kasr, and the Sukun. Or it can be Mu'ra with the secondary sign, which is any of these. And it can also have a bit of both. So there's certain words that when it's Mu'ra, it's going to take the original sign, which is the Dhamma. When it's uh, Majrurun, it's going to take the original sign, which is the Kasra. But when it's Mansubun, it's going to take one of these special signs. It's going to take one of these special signs. A word that's like that is the Jemu and Mu'annath as the sound feminine plural. Okay? The sound feminine plural is what? Is any plural noun that ends with at. The sound feminine plural, which is Jemu and Mu'annath as is any plural word that ends with at. So for example, we have Sama. Sky, Samawat, skies. Muslima, Muslim. Muslim, sorry, Muslimat, plural, right? Mudarrisatun, teacher. Mudarrisat, feminine teachers, plural. So this is a Jamur Mu'annasana. This word, these types of words that are plural that end with atun, when it's marfu', when it's in the position of a rafa', it takes the original sign, which is a dhamma. Al Muslimatu, Al Mudarrisatu, As Samawatu, the list goes on. When it's majrurun, it also takes the original sound, which is the kasra. Fil muslimati, fil madrasati, fil muhandisati, the list goes on. Fil samawati. But when it's mansubun, 
any word that's jama' on the salam and that's mansubun is going to take a secondary sign. Al-alamatun fara'iyya is going to take a secondary sign. That secondary sign is the kasra. Ra'aytun muslimati. Muslimati is the maf'ulun bihi. For ra'aytu, which means I saw. Muslimati is the maf'ulun bihi. For ra'aytu, which means I saw. And we, can, we know that the maf'ulun bihi, the object of the verb, is always mansub. So ra'aytun muslimati. Muslimati is mansubun. And the sign of it being mansubun is a secondary sign, which is a kasra. Not the original sign, which is a fatha. So the jamu and the salim, when it's majrurun, the sign of it being majrurun is a kasra. And also, the kasra is also the sign of it being mansubun. So, it takes the original signs for arafa, which is a dhamma. It takes the original sign for the kasra, which is the, uh, for the jar, which is a kasra. But it takes a secondary sign for the nasab, which is not the fatha, but rather it's a kasra. But rather it's a kasra. So to show an example of this, we have this verse that comes, or this sentence, if you will, that comes all the time in the Quran, which is خَرَقَ اللَّهُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ Allah created the heavens and the earth. Allah created the heavens and the earth. خَرَقَ is a verb, past tense. Allahu and ismu ahsan is the fa'al, the, the, the do of the verb. As-samawat is the maf'ulun bihi, the object of the verb, right? Allah created what? He created the skies. وَالْأَرْضَ and the earth. Al-Arda is ma'atuf to the ma'atuf na'alayhi, which is samawat. So, samawat here is the maf'ulun bihi, and it's mansub. But it's mansub with a secondary sign, which is the kasra. And that's why we say, kharaq Allahu as-samawati. And we don't say, kharaq Allahu as-samawata. Why? Because samawat here is mansub. But the sign of it being mansub is the secondary sign, or a secondary sign, which is the kasra, instead of the fatha. On the other hand, Al-Arda is Ma'atuf, which pretty much means that it's connected to Samawat and it takes the same Arab of it. Okay? So, Arud here is like coming, quote-unquote, as a second of Unumbi. Okay? Quote-unquote there. So, Al-Arda is Mansub also. We say Arda. But it's Mansub of the original sign, which is the Fatha. So, both of these things, Samawat and Arud, are Mansub. But one of them is taking a secondary sign, which is the Kasra. While the other one's taking the original sign, which is the fatha, because samawat is jama mu'an the salam, so it's going to take a secondary sign, which is mansu, while arda is like Muhammad, it's a, no, it's a regular noun, so it's going to take the original sign, which is the fatha. So, inshallah, I hope this was clear and clarifying the different signs of araf for the jama mu'an salam, what exactly that means. It's a concept that takes some time to get used to, but inshallah, with the passage of time and with practice, it will become like second nature. Inshallah. Jazakallah khair for listening. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.